we have been blessed by many spiritual masters and today we shall listen to ashirvachan by shri nochur venkatraman ji श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम ओम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम Proceedings to Pujya Papa, Swami Ramdas, Pujya Mata Ji, Krishna Bhai, Pujya Swami Ji, Swami Satchidanand Ji, and also my namaskar to Muktanand Ji, who has asked me to speak few words on Papa's Sanyas Centenary Year. Spiritually, one has to reach the supreme state to renounce everything. Shankaracharya says, Jnanam Sanyasa Lakshanam. Jnanam, the knowledge of the self, is the sign of Sanyasa. A true Sanyasi is a Jnani. A Jnani alone is a true Sanyasi. Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi also said, Sanyaso nirmalam jnanam, kashayo nachamundanam. Pure knowledge of the self is sanyasa. It is not merely tonsuring the head or wearing the ochre robe. Such was the sannyasa of Papa Swami Ramdas. He had just the call from within, the intuition to renounce. And we see in that divine book, In Quest of God, which has inspired so many souls to take to the path of God realization. Where we see Papa had a call from within to renounce and he renounced. Even before renunciation, he had the experience of God within. So total renunciation, then why should one renounce? Because renunciation is the only tapas for attaining realization. The Upanishad says, Nyasa Esham Tapasam Atiriktam Ahuhu. Renunciation or Sanyasa is the Anukula Sadhana for Jnana. Because Jnana means knowing that I am the Self. Just to become aware of one's real nature. When one enquires and finds out what this I within me is. When one seeks within, who am I? What is my real nature? One comes to know that the body is not me, the mind is not me, the ego is not me. Then what remains when everything is removed from awareness is pure consciousness, the divine awareness. Papa called it as Ram. And when the mind becomes deepest 
it takes a plunge into the deepest source it gets replenished from there in that state to remain in that state the only sadhana is to renounce tyaga tyagena ike amritatva manasho when one reaches that state one finds one cannot do anything other than to renounce everything that comes in way of one's freedom in papa's life that blessing came to him one day before that he had the vision of krishna he was constantly chanting ram naam and he was studying bhagavad gita bible and many other scriptures and constantly chanting ram naam eating very little all the pre requisites were fulfilled in his life and suddenly he had an intuition yada hareva virajet tada hareva pravrajet the shastra says the moment dispassion comes to you you just walk out we can see that teaching demonstrated in papa swami ramdas life and sanyasi didn't take from any tradition for him rama was his tradition ram naam was his only sadhana and after that renunciation we find he was like a dry leaf taken in a wind wherever that wind took that dry leaf the the leaf just goes there like that papa's body was moving about from one place to another living purely on bhiksha unafraid that renunciation is not something which a person can do with his self will so this at the total renunciation happens by divine grace when the inner spiritual wisdom knowledge blooms into pure sweet fruit of anubhuti then naturally renunciation happens so sanyasa is the fruit of jnanam and that we see in papa's life he did not do it by his own self will that is why after attainment he just came back and all his family people were around him and he was moving about with them with more love with more oneness some devotee asked why did papa renounce your wife your child papa said ramdas has not done anything he has only owned the whole whole world so that is a new definition for sanyasa sanyasa in the first definition is renunciation but papa says when you see that the entire world is ram sarvatma bhava looking at everyone as atman then everyone belongs to you all are your own that was the state of papa swami ramdas he lived in that bliss so naturally sahaja atmanishta no special anushthana nothing he was always moving about with everyone ever conscious about his divine nature so in that state papa remained and the same realization as one can light a lamp from a very well lit lamp like that the flame was lit in mata ji krishna bai and the same effulgence came to swami sachidananda ji also when we speak about these three murtis about ananda ashram we are always reminded about this trinity and their renunciation if that true renunciation comes to our life our life also will be blessed uh, we can have that renunciation even in family life even in a busy working life also one can have the essence of renunciation within by 
knowing that God alone is real, nothing else is real. If we can, one can keep this medicine inside, one will not get attached to anything. And continuing the Ram Nam chanting or any mantra japa, the mind will slowly become pure and one will have the vision of the inner divine and slowly the experience will pervade everywhere. One will learn to see the divinity everywhere and that is enlightenment and that makes one's life full, whole. Today, we are really blessed to meditate on Papa's life. Let our whole life become an Ananda Ashrama. Wherever we live, that is Ananda Ashrama. If you have Ananda inside you, you are living in Ananda Ashrama. Uh, and my dhanyavad to Swamiji, for, to all ashram devotees who have made me speak about Papa's life. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram